Hello, this is Bruce, and I do security. I've been doing security for a really long time, and um, one of my favorite platforms uh, to use online has been uh, WordPress. And uh, over the years, like if you've used WordPress for a significant amount of time, sometimes um, you'll get hacked. <laughs> Typically, the reason why has been because I didn't update. Um, and then plugins, bad plugins are another way that uh, you can get hacked. So what I want to show you today is how to avoid it and when it does happen, how to find out where your site got infiltrated. The way that I find have found out that my site was hacked is that uh, Google will tell me. Because I don't, you know, I don't, uh, though I'll go like a month or two stretch without doing any content or whatever you know I just put information that I know out there not uh, I've just recently kinda gotten more serious about blogging putting more content on a more continuous basis you know because it, it does make a little cash here and there and that's always nice okay so if I go to my site right now bam there we go so it's telling me that um, the site has the site ahead contains malware and your site, diarmfs.com, might attempt to install dangerous software. Which actually wasn't the case. What happened was they uh, they um, got into a plugin. And I think it's because the plugin wasn't updated. And they put a backdoor into the plugin itself. There's no actual viruses on there. It's not doling out viruses. That I know because I. I go. I went to the site to test it out to make sure it's not going to infect my computer or somebody else's. If that's the case, I just shut the whole thing down. But um, there, was, there was a back door into it, and I could see the passwords and everything. And that's what I want to show you. I want to show you how I knew, how I found it, because a lot of times I'm sure that I mean when I first started out, I didn't know. If the first time I had a site that got hacked, I didn't know. I was like, how, how do they know it's been hacked? You know, how do they know? Uh, how can I find out where it is, and then how can I delete it? Then I found out the reason, the way to do it, and I'm going to show you that. So here we go, right here. It says the site is hacked, and I'm going to go ahead and go bypass all of this. Go to the details, and then visit this unsafe, unsafe site and there it is right there and um, I've actually already removed the uh, the files that were infiltrating the site now to do this we have to go into the back end of the site so what you do is you go into file manager using control panel and then you want to look at the actual files that are on there. You'll know by the date and normally WP content is the folder uh, that's altered. That's the that's the folder that has all the data that's exposed to the world and um, it's the most vulnerable especially if you do a lot of plugins and um, you don't check the plugins before you use them because a lot of plugins are just not well made and so you, what you have is uh, lots of opportunities to, for them to be exploited. The way that you really can tell what has happened is to go into control panel file manager and look at the date time stamp of the files. So you look at the latest modified timestamp and the telltale sign is usually when you see scores and tens or, or dozens of files all changed with the same date timestamp that means that somebody ran a script and changed all of those files at once within one second because only a script you know can is going to be able to do something like that very quickly and that's what malware is that's what viruses are it's just a script somebody 
uh, use to to exploit weaknesses in your in the code of the of the plugin. So the date timestamp is a dead giveaway. If you see a bunch of files that have the exact same date timestamp, unless you recently updated, because if you update your uh, WordPress, let's say just yesterday you upgraded uh, your all your plugins and you updated all of your um, all your PHP files on you upgraded from WordPress 3 to WordPress 4 or something you'll see the same kind of thing because it uses a script to change all of those files all at once back to back so if you know that you haven't changed anything recently but you see all of these files that have the same date time stamp uh, it's that's telling you somebody's been in there messing with stuff and so what I'll show you here is actual files here that somebody did that to, to my site. They went in there, they changed, they used a script and it changed all of these files all at once and that was the dead giveaway. So I went in there and I found out all of them are really it's really was going off of one particular plugin and here it is right here. This group docs plugin and this one was the culprit. It has all the same date time stamped and when I looked in it has an error log. The error.txt file I'm seeing it's telling me there's a brute force started. I mean it's um, brute force WP uh, which is WordPress um, using link passes and um, infiltrating the site with these username and passwords. Because they, what they did was once they're able to get into the plugin, they're able to to rewrite a portion of it, and then um, allow these individual usernames to get in and out of, of that. The way you get rid of it, I mean, the way I got rid of it was just to delete the plugin. The plugin is, I'm not really even using it. It was something. It was just an extra thing, so it wasn't even worth the worth the risk. How do you avoid it? So it doesn't happen is double check the plugins. When you're checking out plugins, use plugins that have been that to other people have have looked at. And here I'll give you an example. Because the comments really the comments from other people who have used the plugin are very telling. And you can do further research by Googling the at what what other people are saying about the plugin. Because some of them are just very poorly written. And because of that um they get exploited very easily or or another one is that it's not that they're poorly written but they're not kept up with they wrote it three years ago and there's now an exploit for SSL for example but let's say we were looking for plug-in for forms and what I normally do is um, I'll use I'll go by the star the rating of the of the app, it, usually if it has hundreds of different people who've already installed it, active users, then you know it's t it's telling. Like, if, why would that many people use it and give it high ratings if it wasn't legit? Then another thing you can do is look at when it was last updated. So I can see the Ninja Forms is on version 2.9.28, and it was updated four weeks ago that's great so every now and then you get some plugins that are, have not been updated for years and you want to just avoid those the ones that are extremely new and don't have any rating at all I mean you're really taking a chance on those and you really gotta watch it because you really don't know what you're getting and like I said another step you can take is to just go ahead and and uh, and see if you can find any more information. Google Ninja Forms and see if anybody's been hacked with it. And uh, and that also helps as well because when I looked at Group Docs, I I did <laughs> I found out it was hacked. And then I go online, I type it in, and and I typed in Group uh, Group Docs space hacked hack, you know. And sure enough, you know just. All of these results came down about that. It's my mistake, you know. I shouldn't have 
have uploaded that and I should have definitely upgraded it. And that's the chance you take with WordPress and other uh, free platforms out there. I mean, anything really, I mean, it's the internet so volatile, you just, there's no way you're gonna be 100% safe. I mean, if any information you have out there, uh, it's gonna be subject to getting hacked. That's just the nature of the, of, uh, the world we live in today. So yes, yeah, so step number one, don't load any plugins you do not need. If you don't need it, don't load it. Number two, make sure it's legit, meaning double check it, do some research on it. Um, make sure that uh, lots of people have rated it and, and have given it a high rating. Double check it on Google, make sure nobody has already exploited it. And then another thing is, number three is, check to see if they've updated it recently because WordPress is constantly changing there's constant new exploits out there online and and then the steps I would tell you for finding out if your site where the files have been uh, exploited would be look at the date time stamp that's really the only rule look at the date time stamp if you know that you haven't upgraded it then you know something is wrong and that's where you need to pinpoint your efforts then read those files that is going to be very telling on what to do um, and then get rid of them once you're once they're clean get rid of it make sure there's no other back doors in there look at all the other files make sure none of your other stuff on the same server has been tampered with if it's localized to that one file or just one file has been tampered with or one group of files or one plugin then you're in luck you could just delete it and be gone but there's some really bad hacks where it, it actually got one site where it it was just a blog I did years ago and just didn't touch it the whole thing was gone I mean it was everything was touched and it was on an old version of WordPress and it was a nightmare I just basically I had to scrap it start from scratch and reload the whole all of it over again so that's it um, I'll definitely do more of these types of videos and uh, do more on WordPress, securing WordPress, and um, hope you uh, don't have, don't hope you don't get hacked. See you later.